So now you have something to rock while you're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I brought my uh, 43 millimeters, so I'm not wearing today because yeah. I, I was going to get this watch, so I'm gonna wear it. This was a tough one to get, to be honest with you. There was a lot of work involved in it, and I definitely spent a lot of time, hours, energy, effort, and resources in order to get this piece, but we secured it. I promised my customer that I'd get it for him, and I went through pretty much anything I had to do to get it for him, and just got it in this morning. So here's the grand reveal, guys. My wear for the break. What's up, TPT gang? Diamonds Fleep here. Welcome to another banger. This week, we got something really special lined up for you. As always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Yeah, I like that one, actually. I like that one. That's, that's not bad. Let's put that one on the side, potentially. Uh, what's this? This is uh, AP as well. What's that? That's how much? This was heavy. This one's 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 heavy. I appreciate you seeing me. I assume you usually need an appointment here. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate you seeing me on short notice. Of course, of course, no problem. Right, this is 16.5 as well. Uh, 16.5 as well, yeah. cool. Can I try that? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, I was also thinking, like, some of the Rolex date justs or whatever, you know, when they're bust down here, but then they keep the face normal. I've yeah. seen that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's quite cool as well. I'll be open to that kind of thing. I assume, would that be cheaper or not? Uh, it's, it's pretty comparable in price. I mean, if I were to make it, yeah, it would be slightly cheaper. But. Well, so Do you say it's the same price? Same price. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Even though it's all the diamonds on the face? I mean, I could do like a small difference, but... That's crazy. That's crazy. So it's better value to get all the diamonds. I mean, to be honest with you, diamonds that small, like it's not that crazy. They're not that a lot. Yeah, it's not as expensive as you think. But, yeah. yeah, and I was also gonna ask you because I don't know about all this sort of stuff. Yeah, like I have v, 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 S, or yeah. the other top ones. Like, what, what yeah, that's not that's not what we use. We use SI, a mix of SI and BS okay. uh, one, which is <clears throat> it's not for clarity, it's for color. So we use a G to H color scale, which is um, a bright white color for it, basically. So if you were to do a VBS or VS diamonds, you're paying like three times that. Also, no one does VS plus diamonds. Everyone um, says they do, but they do not do. It's completely live. But don't they sparkle better or they last longer? No, I mean, if you're if you're buying like a baguette cut, yes, because it's basically like a mirror. The whole thing's basically like a mirror. Yeah. But for diamonds this small, it literally makes zero difference. Like gotcha. Not not even a jeweler could tell. Gotcha. If they look at it. What year is this watch? 2021. 2021. That's good. It's a modern watch. Okay. Th these are these are options. Like potentially, like yeah. I mean, I had my eye on a date just, but like we'll see. Let's see what else. I've got my eye on a lot of things, but these these are actually quite cool. So I did sell this uh, offshore two six four two zero <clears throat> RO for uh, fifty eight five, and I'm trying to now get the best price from one of my suppliers. Uh, I have a brand new one for uh, fifty six, while the used one which is like almost new for 54.5. So I'll talk to my client now and see if he wants a little discount for the for the used one or if I should go for the new one. And I'll get back to you. Hey bro, so can you do 54 or will you close it? I, that's at my bottom, man. I, that's the lowest I've offered anywhere. That's not that's below what I was planning on offering it at. Um, <clears throat> you said 54.5? No way. Um, bro, okay, fine, let's do it. I sold two last week for 59. Yeah, I sold two last week for 59. Really? Like, Alright, let's do 50 for 5, but uh, make sure that everything looks clean, okay? Cool. Alright, sounds good, man. Uh, send that I'll send you the ball on Monday, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, you wanna send me invoice info now? Uh, yes, I'll do now. Alright, sounds good. Thank you, bro. 
So we finalized the, the deal. You saw that I was in between two um, two dealers. One was offering a brand new one for uh, 56, while the other one got me one for 54.5, and it was slider, meaning that it was worn like once. So we go for a slide. We went for a slider and um, talk to the client already, and I'm sure he'll be happy. Now you have something to rock while you're here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I brought my 43 millimeters, so I'm not wearing today because yeah. I, I was going to get this watch, so I'm gonna wear it. So basically you bought this with the money of the MOP dial that you showed me before, the Daytona? Uh, no, not, not the Daytona. The Daytona I took like uh, a really long time ago. I think it was uh, like 2020. In 2020, actually. Uh, this one I flipped, uh, I traded in uh, that, one, that, that one with the black dial and the uh, uh, blue sub dials. And like paid some okay. some some extra yeah. okay, I see. and got this one this one is really nice that's a problem because we have stuff that's not like if you want i can show you the sure. the lady the lady a piece ferrari no okay. it's a which one you want? Oh, bags, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? So this is the 15711 OI, which is the offshore and rose gold and titanium Japan edition. I just sold this to my client today. He hit me up yesterday. He's been looking for around three or four months for the piece. It's limited 500 pieces, so it's very difficult to come by. We happen to get it in stock. He hit me up immediately and it's going out to him. It's a great everyday piece. It's super durable. So it's a diver, so it's extremely water resistant. You can go swimming, you can go in the ocean, whatever. It's a great piece and I'm sure he's gonna love it. All right, what's going on guys? Want to clock in this morning and show you guys some new pieces that we got. Today is Thursday. We're actually gonna be closing the office a little bit early because downtown Miami is having an event. This has been happening quite often and it's been a little bit of a hindrance to the office um, here and there, we had Formula One coming up, which is definitely going to be hurting downtown. We had EDC, which is messing everything up. And then there's frequent like 5Ks and races. There's always stuff going on in downtown Miami. There was even like a huge bike race. And just for some reason, our office is like right in the middle of all of it. And we always get kind of trapped. So going to have to shoot this, uh, this clip a little bit quick. But I definitely did get some really cool stuff to show you guys. So I'm happy to bring it to you now. Starting off, we got a very beautiful piece that is quite polarizing. It's either you love it or you hate it sort of piece. I myself wasn't, didn't know if I was gonna be too fond of it. Now seeing it, it is quite beautiful, but it is a big watch. This is going to be the RM39 Flyback Chronograph. So this is a watch that boasts actually a quite high retail and trades significantly under. It is a quite large watch. It's definitely targeted at customers that have a larger wrist or there are going to be doing activities like for instance, diving or boating or yachting, something along those lines. I myself, like I said, when I saw it, I was like, ah, I don't know, we'll take a shot on it, we'll buy it. After getting it, I definitely think we're gonna be able to find a nice home for it. It's in beautiful top mint condition. It has the red throughout. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think down below? I know it definitely is quite large um, and a little bit difficult to wear, but I am a fan of it myself. So definitely excited to see who's gonna be picking this guy up. Now, continuing th with the theme of red, we actually got a piece that I think you guys are pretty much all going to love which is going to be this 3502. So we actually picked up this 3502 red and TPT. This was in fact a trade-in. So the customer traded this piece in for the three meteorite Daytonas that I showed you guys in the last clip. So he switched out of the RM, he got three meteorite Daytonas. This guy is boasting the red with black strap. I think we're gonna put a black crown on it, crown on it to see how it looks. I myself like how it looks with the black strap and black crown. What do you guys think? Copper drop, do you think that it's worth the black NCPT for $120,000 more, or would you guys go with the red? I like the red, I think it's pretty cool, but definitely is a little bit harder to daily, but definitely a piece that uh, a lot of people are looking for. And of course the open case back at a huge discount is very interesting. So let us know down below what you guys think about the 3502 red and full NCPT. This guy is available, so if you guys are looking, let us know. 
Now to keep the red theme ongoing still, it's, it's not stopping today apparently, we just got a bunch of red watches in. We actually got this beautiful RM11 Dubai edition in, which is pretty cool. It actually has a serial number written not only on the side, but on the back of the watch as well, which is, I have never honestly seen that. That's really cool to see. I just found that out now that they put the serial number on the side of the watch, which I've never seen before. So quite interesting. This beautiful RM11 in titanium with the red insert inside of it. We put this red and black strap on it. I think we're gonna go with either an all red or all black strap on it. So it's not super, super loud, but this is a Dubai edition. It's limited 30 pieces in the world. This one actually has a quite lucky number. If you guys are into like special numbers, this one has a very nice number to it. And I am definitely a fan of it. I definitely think that the red is nice. Once again, a little bit more polarizing. You can't wear it with everything. You're a little bit more limited on the strap options for something like this compared to a standard RM11 in titanium. However, if you do like red and you do want a watch that stands out, this definitely is a great, great, great option. Now, next up, we received a fan favorite. So I told you guys, we're buying a lot of skeletons. What are we getting today? A stainless steel skeleton. What are we getting in tomorrow? Another stainless steel skeleton. So we're gonna be keep buying these. They're doing fantastic for us. Customers are loving them. They've really dropped down at the price points that make a lot of sense today. So that's why they've been doing so well for us. This guy is a brand new set and it did not even last the day. It's already gone. It is sold. So this guy is gonna be out of here. We will be getting a pre-owned 2018 complete in tomorrow. So if you guys are looking for a stainless steel skeleton, definitely this is a great time to pick one up. I'm a huge fan of the stainless steel. It definitely is my favorite skeleton uh, compared to the black, even the black ceramic. I like this I like this piece better. And definitely the gold. I have a little bit of a hard time wearing gold um, with a quite pale complexion, um, but definitely like how the stainless steel looks and I think it looks good on everyone. Now, lastly, another piece that we just picked up we got another trade-in. So this is gonna be a 116506. This is a Platinum Daytona. These guys, of course, recently are going to be upgraded to the new Platinum Daytona. I believe this was like a month ago now. Um, so they're changing the bezel, they're changing a few features about the watch. Of course, they did discontinue the baguette bezel. Um, this guy will still be in production, but the new model, so this is the older model now. This guy is 2021 complete and she is uh, priced to fly. Really great price on this, got a really good, deal gave my customer a very good deal on the other side he's extremely happy so definitely going to be offering this out to a few customers today and we'll see if it even makes it to the end of the uh of the office hours today i don't think it will um being how fast these platinum daytonas move and have been moving but if you guys are interested and it is still around here's a quick glance at it let us know what you think are you a fan of the platinum would you rather have the stainless steel do you like the other precious metals i don't know i don't know how i feel about this platinum to be honest with you I myself haven't got too much time wearing one. I definitely like the steel one, but I think if I wore this enough, I think it'd grow on me. I just have to see how the weight feels. Um, Cause it is a little bit of a heavier watch, of course, being that it's platinum. Yo, what's the watch on your wrist though? Oh, oh wow. I, I actually forgot one. I forgot one guys. That's actually quite important that we got in this morning. I actually had to do a little bit of uh this was a tough one to get, to be honest with you. There was a lot of work involved in it, and I definitely spent a lot of time, hours, energy, effort, and resources in order to get this piece, but we secured it. I promised my customer that I'd get it for him, and I went through pretty much anything I had to do to get it for him, and just got it in this morning. So here's the grand reveal, guys. Full factory set Sky Dweller with the baguette bezel. Brand new from 2022. Of course, the clasp, fully flooded as well, factory. What do you guys think? I know my customer is gonna be super, super, super excited and happy to be picking this guy up. Was not an easy piece to find, was not an easy piece to get, and I'm glad to get it in for him. Like I said, uh, very difficult to acquire piece. You are not going to be commonly finding these meteorite sky dwellers. This is in fact the third one that we have had here at the office and each one of them, as time goes on, they get increasingly more and more difficult to pick up. So definitely excited to have this. Definitely excited to send it over to my customer and I hope that he enjoys it in good health and I hope that he's very happy as I'm sure he would be wearing this every single day. I know that I'd be quite happy. So I uh, wanna congratulate him and thank you so much again for your business. And guys, what do you think about the pickup? Are you happy? What was your favorite piece? Do you wanna see us pick something else up? Are you looking for maybe paddocks? Let us know what you wanna see down below and we'll try to make it happen for you if the price is right. And thank you guys so much for tuning in.
Hey, I didn't see you guys there. So thank you guys for watching this uh, video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.